Antonio Brown reportedly told the Raiders that he will not play football for them unless he is allowed to wear his old helmet. If this is true, this is just so sad and it's very unfortunate that Antonio Brown would say something like this. The Raiders paid Antonio Brown a whole lot of money to play for them. And this is how he repays them? By refusing to go on the field because of a helmet? I hope this is not true. If it is, then Antonio Brown is gonna risk literally losing millions of dollars over a helmet. It just makes no sense. He needs to team up with the NFL and come up with a helmet that makes him comfortable. That's what he has to do. If he doesn't play for the Raiders, and if he loses out on all this money because he's being stubborn and not trying to work with the league to find a helmet that fits him the best, then, man, it's just, this would be one of those tragic NFL tales. And as we know, there are many of them out there. Antonio Brown is so gifted. He's so skilled. He has the speed. He can catch the ball. He's such a tremendous playmaker. He's fun to watch. He has been blessed with such natural talent. And he's jeopardizing all of this for what? For a helmet? This makes no sense. Like I said, I hope it's not true, but unfortunately, it probably is true, knowing his track record. I'm hoping, I'm really, really am hoping that he finds a helmet that makes him comfortable. I'm hoping that he just does not cause any more problems for the Raiders. I hope he just recovers from his foot injury, suits up, and starts playing. He deserves to give the Raiders that. The Raiders fans deserve that. All the Antonio Brown fans out there like me, we deserve that too. We want to see him play. We want to see him do well. The problem with him is, is it seems like he's never happy. It's always something. I hope this issue is resolved. Like I said, he's a great player. He's one of my favorite players to watch. He's so skilled. He catches the ball. He, he can return kicks. He can do so many things. He got a fresh start in Oakland and he's already causing problems. I just hope that from this point forward, he just focuses on, focuses on football, makes the right choices, and doesn't do anything to jeopardize his career. Because I'm afraid that eventually people are gonna get tired of him. Teams are gonna get tired of him. Coaches are gonna get tired of him. Fans are gonna get tired of him. The NFL is going to get tired of him and very soon he'll be out of the league and he'll be wondering what happened, but it'll be on him. Hopefully that won't happen. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to be optimistic about this. I'm hoping that he has a great season with Oakland. He catches another 100 balls, scores 12 touchdowns, gains 1,000 yards. I hope him and Dave Carr are able to mesh well. I wish nothing but great things for Antonio Brown. I just hope that he finds a way to just do the right things. I mean, this helmet thing shouldn't be that much of an issue. No one, nobody else is complaining about their helmets except for him. He has to find a helmet that is most comfortable for him. It's a safety issue. He knows about the concussions, about CTE and all of that stuff. He knows that a lot of those old helmets are not safe to wear. It's a safety issue. He knows this. So I don't understand why he's being so difficult about this issue. But like I said, hopefully him and the Raiders and the NFL can come to some sort of agreement because it'd be unfortunate for him not to be on the field because he refuses to wear an approved NFL helmet. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with him. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please do me a big favor and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Just press the subscribe button below this video. And also, be sure to click the notification bell too. That way, when I put out new content, you'll be able to get it right then and there. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. 
I hope that you all have a blessed, wonderful day.